Well, pharmacists we talk to say there's been a lot of interest lately when it comes to vaccine booster shots. But they say when it comes to people getting vaccinated for the first time, not so much, which is what health leaders were not hoping for. When it comes to administering COVID-19 vaccines, pharmacist Daniel Lunsford says. Friday is usually my busy day. I usually do 10 or 12 or we did 25 probably uh, three or four weeks ago, but uh, today I did one. But when it comes to booster shots, phone lines have been busy. Thanks, Greg. There's a lot of confusion about who's eligible to get boosters, when you're supposed to get boosters, are we doing boosters, are we not doing boosters? For now, a third round of vaccines are ruled out for most people after an FDA panel said there was not enough evidence to prove them unless you're 65 or older or are at high risk of severe disease. But if you're immunocompromised, you've had an organ transplant, if you're on uh, certain therapies or certain medications that decrease your immune response. It is so important at this point in time that people who are not yet vaccinated go ahead and get vaccinated. Our hospitals are very full. Um, we are seeing people in the hospital for an extended period of time when they are hospitalized and a lot of people going on the ventilators. State epidemiologist Dr. Jennifer Dillahay says, regardless of what the future holds for booster shots, she says more people should get vaccinated. We know that the vaccines do a really good job of keeping people out of the hospital and keeping them alive. And that's very important uh, for people to know the long-term benefit of the vaccines is still there. And according to the department, the latest numbers from the Department of Health here in Sebastian County and in Crawford County, right now less than 43% of those 12 and older are fully immunized, which is behind the state average of 50%. Now tonight at 9 and 10, why Dr. Dillahay says those folks who've already had COVID-19 and have natural immunity should still get vaccinated. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 9.